Thank you for joining us today. We're going to do a painting, um, a nice spring scene. This is, um, we're going to work off of a uh, plein air painting, a painting I painted outdoors a couple of years ago. This was done up in the Skyland Botanical Gardens in Ringwood, New Jersey. And um, I like some elements of it. Um, again, you know, sometimes when you go outside to paint, your goal is to make a finished painting, and you set out to do that. But sometimes it's just to get basic information. And um, that's why these trees seem to be unfinished. How to move along. You know, when you paint outdoors, you really have a limited amount of time to paint because the sun shifts. So this might have been 9.30 in the morning, 10 o'clock. By the time I finished at 12 maybe, so painting about an hour, an hour and a half. The sun's directly overhead. You have all different shadows. Your light and darks are in different positions. So it's very important when you paint outdoors uh, to move quickly and just get as much information as you can. So there are a few things that I like in this painting that we'll incorporate in our painting with paint. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue, thin that out. I'm painting with oils. And I'm sorry about that noise in the background and my dog is moving my background stand around. Uh, that's Lola. She snores through most of my videos. Obviously, she doesn't find them that entertaining. Um, and again, real quick, I like to do this in every video, just go over what colors we have out. We use black, <laughs> we use white, black, and then I use what I call the spectrum colors, which are yellow, orange, cadmium red light, quinacridone magenta, purple, dioxazine purple, ultramarine blue, thalo turquoise, and thalo green. I also put out ochre. And today I put out some yellow transparent oxide, which is a dark yellow, and it's almost ochre. It's ochre, and if you lighten that up, you can get it up to that point. But I might need that um, for my yellow forsythia bushes. So let me start sketching. I said I do like this little uh, brick wall in the front, stone wall. So maybe I'll, I'll get something going in. This is just works as a nice little leading thing into our picture, it brings us in a little bit. I have sort of a green bush in the front here. There's one for Cynthia here. And I have another one that comes out over there. So that's enough to fill in that corner. Um, I'm gonna lay in a little bit of a sort of horizon line right above here. So I don't want to be dead center. So I'll go under it a little bit. That's just a little compositional thing we do. We don't like to put anything dead center, whether we're going horizontal or vertical. So if this is about my halfway point, I'm just going to bring that line under there. Um, I have some trees bringing me in. So what we're doing here, right about here is where my focal point is going to be. So I'm bringing kind of some elements to point into it. These are pointing in this way. And then I'll have some, some tree shapes. And then this way. Um, notice how my wash thinned out much better here. I don't like this heavy, heavy stuff. This is much better. And then I might have a tree line going back here. And again, think about your composition. Are they bringing it into your focal point? Um, and let's get our little tree shape. And again, this is our center. So my tree is going to probably start off this way a little bit. I'm not going to paint it perfect at this moment, but I do want to get basic shape. Now these cherry blossoms have some really heavy shapes 
next to the to the trunk. I don't want to make it too symmetrical, so I think we have a little bit more on that side. I just think just want to get that strangeness to that shape in a little bit. And then maybe we have a branch coming in here. Like that. Right, I don't have to commit myself to perfect shape yet to those branches, but I kind of know, I want to know where they're going. And then maybe there's one. And then my overall blossom, that's an important thing. And I think, um, well, I'm going to stay with the blue. I just don't want to overpower anything. Um, and I'm looking at some of that shape there. Different tree shape than what I'm painting. <laughs> There's this kind of mist. It's always this thin layer um, of moisture that's still in the air. laid out some um, some gray tones just seven one two three four five six seven um, I didn't need to go any darker than that because it's really you know spring there's really nothing I look out the window here and I see there's nothing there's a lot of foliage and background things going on there's nothing nearly as dark as that and we do go with pretty light so this works well uh, so let's see if I can get that going here. I did a lot of talking, so I'm running out of time. These videos can only run 15 minutes at a clip. And I'm getting down to my like one minute mark. So what I think I'm gonna do, Get, leave that at like that. Uh, take a break for a second and come back in the next uh, video. Thank you.